been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. We turned all the boxing guru. I'm coming with so much flavor. I'm also known as the Wilder Hater. But my video's here to please you. It's under the microscope here to teach you. With this amazing song by Roberta Flack, The Closer I Get To You, was inspired by Albert the Prince Bell Trials and Tribulations to the top. Now he's there, he can get his, finally get his title shot. Like Public Enemy, he can't be stopped. episode of Under the Microscope. Albert the Prince Bell dreams is near. I've been telling y'all for about four years. For all you doubters, I've been in your ear. After next week, after Albert beat Prescott, it will be loud and clear. Albert will be the number one ranked WBO junior lightweight contender. He'd be in line to fight the winner of Oscar Valdez versus Emmanuel Neverett. I've been telling y'all for the longest, Albert the Prince Bell will be doing swell even though his contract with ESPN top ranked boxing failed because they didn't want that smoke because they knew Albert understand boxing, the art of boxing well. I told y'all a long time ago, I wanted him and Shakur Stevenson to fight for my dream matchup for supremacy. But it's still on track. It ain't out of sight. Because after next Friday night, Albert will be one step away from uh, capturing the title at the WBO. He definitely will whoop the winner of Oscar Valdez and uh, Neverett. Oscar Valdez, too flat-footed, too slow on his feet, can't box, can't think. Albert to beat him unanimously. And uh, Neverett, with his in and out uh, movement, it would be a little uh, difficult, but Albert understanding of um, the art of boxing will lead him to vic uh, vic victory against Neverett, in my opinion because Neverett sometimes get off balance, falling in, you know, doing unconventional things. Albert just got to get his timing down and learn that. But otherwise, we will be in good shape. So he definitely will be on the course to still uh, challenge some of the top fighters at 135, in my opinion. After Albert Bell wins the WBO uh, junior lightweight challenge he should just step on up because the money is at the 135 pound chase the likes of Shakur Stevenson that was my fantasy fight uh, for supremacy it's still in sight you know because I always believe Shakur and Albert is is two of the, the elite uh, boxers at a high level um, I don't think Albert would let me down like my boy Earl the True Spence did last week against Bud Crawford it wasn't that Bud was all this and that. It just Earl defense was whack, in my opinion. He just didn't bring his hands back. That's basic fundamentals of boxing. But if Earl would have kept his hands back and, and moved forward and, and attacked Bud, Bud couldn't get away. But that's here nor there. But hopefully it plays out that way at, at uh, in the rematch. But back to Albert the Prince Bell. Oh, this is a monumental moment because I've been saying this for so long. You know, a lot of uh, people I talk to personally, they know who they are. You know, they doubt it. 
didn't believe in this and that, the art of boxing. I love the art of boxing. It don't, you don't have to be a power puncher. You don't have to have your fight stage against bigger or smaller opponents. You can just outbox them, outthink them. And that's what Albert Bell is, the art of boxing. So I'm definitely excited for Albert. I definitely will be um, in, uh, not in attendance because it's in Atlanta, Georgia. I have some other obligations. But I definitely will watch it on the zone to watch Albert the Prince Bell inch one step closer to his dream fight of, uh, 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 of winning the lightweight, junior lightweight championship, the WBO. So it's definitely going to be lit for the city of Toledo and 419 boxing. We're going to have another world champion in the making. I predicted this years ago. It just took longer than I expected. Everybody expected, but I, I knew it would happen. I knew all praises go to Allah. Plus, Albert has to get it a different way. You know, we're not being with a major uh, promoter uh, behind him. So he definitely earned everything the hard way and the best way based on his skills. And next week, it will be evident as he fight Presco. Presco is a guy, I believe he's too slow. He's kind of tall, but I think he's too slow for his foot movement to uh, give Albert Bell any problems next week. I look for Albert to use movement around the ring to offset Presco as far as, uh, you know, being able to take his jab away with movement. Albert going to give him a target and then pull out and then counter strike. So I'm looking for Albert to land some pretty counter strikes, maybe fight like how Bud did Earl you know, to make uh, Presco, you know, defense to get sloppy. What I mean by that is Albert going to, you know, establish his long jab, his length, his, his reach. Albert always does that. But uh, when Presco decides to, you know, jab with him or move forward, Albert should be able to step back and, and go over the top of his um, jab because Presco sometimes fall in. So that's what's going to be the, the major difference in the fight. I look for Albert Bell to hurt Presco, you know, with some good counter strikes because it's going to make Presco reach and uh, leave himself vulnerable. See, when a person doesn't move, they feel like Earl Spence did last week. It makes you reach and leave yourself vulnerable. You're not really a solid base fighter. So that's what happens to uh, fighters who try to over be aggressive. Earl was just being over aggressive. Instead of double job and a triple job in his way in against Bud at 35 years old who couldn't get away from me, he would just do one jab and try to reach and fall in. So that played dividends in how the fight turned out. What Bud did did wasn't that really uh, out of sight, you know, in my opinion. He used basic jab, a power jab, and range. But with Albert against Presco, he definitely going to use that same type of blueprint because Presco definitely going to try to press forward and use aggression to cut the distance off against Albert. But I just believe Albert is too seasoned and too groomed with the art of boxing to let Presco, uh, you know, get anything off. You know, because Albert, like I said, has excellent foot movement and coordination as being as tall as he is with his punches. So that's going to give uh, Presco all kind of blues. So that's what's going to make him lose, in my opinion. Albert doing the dance in his shoes, not his punching. His shoes going to give him the grooves to give Presco the blues. These are the words for the one and only boxing guru for this episode. Prince Albert Bell dreams is near. I'm going to say it loud and clear. After next week, everybody going to hear. The number one WBO ranked junior lightweight contender, Albert the Prince Bell, mandatory shot against the winner of Oscar Valdez versus Emmanuel Neverett. Subscribe to me. If you want more of the Boxing Guru Show.